Hey everybody, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video we're going to look at how to create YouTube Shorts really fast and really easy using InVideo. Now if you're not familiar with YouTube Shorts, YouTube Shorts are uh, vertical videos that are 59 seconds or less, and they get kind of special distribution on YouTube, so uh, posting them on your channel can be beneficial. And I've recently started making them using InVideo, which is the uh, the app that I'm showing you right now. It's a browser based or it's a uh, cloud based uh, video creation and editing software. And uh, it's got a bunch of beautiful templates. It's a very uh, handy tool. And my favorite feature about it really is this text to video t feature right here, which is what I'm going to use to create a YouTube short vertical video today. And uh, I've actually already written a script for this video using Jarvis AI. Jarvis AI is my favorite AI copywriting tool. Um, so there's going to be links to both Jarvis and InVideo in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, you can get a free trial for both of them. So uh, I'm just going to grab this title for now. And then I'm going to go back here and select a template and so if I just hover over these templates I can preview them and uh, to kind of take a look at what is going on there and I think I like this one because it's uh, yeah it's got some neat uh, kind of things going on and it's uh, it's got uh, very clear text so I think I like this one I'm just gonna click on that and now it's previewing with sound let me turn that off and so it's just asking me if I want the vertical template, the square template, or the wide template. I want the vertical one because we're making a YouTube short. So I say use this template. And now right here is where I put in my headline. And then I just need to go and get my body copy and copy that. Thank you, Jarvis. And then paste it in here. And now uh, some of these paragraphs are a little bit long for a single in video scene. So when I click next, it's going to tell me that there's too much text in one place. And so you can either continue anyways, and you'll end up with some longer scenes, or you can uh, allow their software to rearrange the text for you. So I'm just going to say rearrange text, and you can see it's kind of spaced it out differently so that it's uh, more, uh, more evenly spaced across the scenes. And now I'm just going to click next again. So this can take a moment to load sometimes because like I said, it is a completely browser-based video editing and animation app. Um, most video editing and animation apps that are as powerful as in video, you have to run them off your computer. You have to download software and install it um, if you're using something that can do what in video can do. But uh, they've got presumably fairly well-optimized servers and you really don't get a whole lot of really long wait times. See, we're, we're in here already. So now we're in what's called the storyboard. And uh, you can kind of do high level stuff here, but I like to work in the advanced editor. So I'm just going to click on that and it's going to load in a different interface here. And so now you can see what's happened is uh, it's taken my text, my content, and it has also grabbed uh, images based on what my content says, and it's auto-populated all that content into this video template. So now all I have to do is go through and make sure that the text looks good, it's readable. Um, I need to change it to change the template to my brand colors. And if I was doing this for real, I would also probably replace most of the image assets. But I'm just going to leave the image assets as they are because that would just make it take a really long time and you'd just be watching me drag and drop photos a bunch. Um, and plus they use some really nice assets here. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to go back to the beginning of this. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because it's a nice big heading. Center it. There we go. And uh, so actually one of the first things I'm going to do is change my project colors. You can see right here it says change project colors. And now if I go to brand, I've actually got my brand colors preset in here. And all I need to do is click apply and it's going to apply my brand colors across the entire scene or across the entire video rather. 
So boom, there we go. Now we've got my green there. And if I go to the next slide, I've got it again. Then, I mean, that looks pretty good. Uh, the text looks pretty good there. This text is a little bit small, so we'll make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna go through all the scenes like this. I'm just gonna go through checking to make sure that the text looks okay. Oh, I'm gonna delete the background music. I, I never liked the background music, so I'm gonna delete that. And it looks like we're gonna be a little bit too long here. Let's see, how long is it? Uh-oh, wow, it's, it's way too long. All right, so we're gonna have to remove some scenes. That's not gonna be too difficult though. So I think we're just gonna have to delete this little scene right here. Watch this. Okay, so I think we can just get rid of like, I think we can just get rid of the, uh, the conclusion basically, which is really long. <laughs> So I'm just deleting these scenes because they're a little bit unnecessary and just making the video too long. So let's see, I'm come back here. I'm almost down to a minute. So let's just uh, maybe crunch this scene a little bit. Maybe crunch this scene a little bit. What are we at now? 110. Just adjust them all a little bit, basically. that I do. Open up transitions. Okay. Right there. Almost. Almost there. Um, okay. So now um, we can watch it a little bit. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but um, let's play the first scene here. So you can see that's pretty, pretty decent little scene. Um, so now all that I would need to do is add voiceover. And you can record your own voiceover. So if I go to voiceover right here, you can record voiceover. You can upload a voiceover file. Uh, you can import a file from your uploads or you can use automated text-to-speech. And I'm just gonna use automated text-to-speech because that's the easiest. And the cool thing about this is that when you use this method with NVIDIA, you're actually making a video without showing your face and without using your own voice. So you can do this for any kind of a brand channel you want, and uh, it's not gonna be personally identifiable as you. And let's see, I think the one that I liked the most was Matthew. So we will generate the voiceover for this scene. And let's take a listen. Three basic steps to creating your first blog post. Okay. And now I'm just gonna check add automated voiceover to all scenes and then say add to scene. So this is gonna take a minute because it's actually auto generating uh, AI voiceovers for the entire video. So it's generating a minute worth of, uh, of voiceovers. So that's just gonna take a couple seconds here and it's gonna auto-populate right down here. Um, and then I'll be able to kind of work with it if necessary. 
taking a little bit longer than usual. Usually it doesn't take this long to just do uh, a short video voiceover. Here we go. It's uh, jumping in now. And so let's just uh, play all and we'll take a listen to this. Three basic steps to creating your first blog post. You want to start blogging, but you're not sure what the first step is. It can be hard to know where to begin when it comes to creating your blog. There are so many moving parts and it's easy for new bloggers to get overwhelmed by all of these details. This video will give you the basics on how to create your first blog post in just three steps. Step 1. Decide on and research a topic. Alright, I don't want to play through the whole thing because that would be kind of boring and also because I'm going to actually use this video on my channel once I edit it. Um, once I replace the visual assets. So now that I've done that, literally the only thing left to do would be to replace the visual assets and that's super easy. You just, um, so I would go to uploads and then I would upload some assets here and then you just kind of grab it, drag it and drop it and put it in and, uh, and then it asks you if you want to add it as a layer or replace it and you just say replace and it automatically replaces that image with your image. Um, so then once this is all done, we just go to download and share and you can select 1080 or 720. So I'm just going to go with 1080 and say export. And that is basically a wrap. It's going to, uh, it's going to render the video for me now and then I'll be able to download it. So uh, thanks for watching. That's all I've got for you today. If you want to try out NVIDIA, which is the software I just demonstrated, or Jarvis, which is the AI copywriting software I used to write the script, uh, then you can check out the links in the description, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.